it's called No Way Home. It's it's a it's a an adaptation of I've done a series of works for London Underground uh, called Labyrinth, and I suppose the a large part of the inspiration for that was thinking about the millions of people that use the tube every day and the seeming chaos of uh, all those different journeys um, all happening at once. Um, but that essentially most people are going from home to their place of work and then back home again. But I was thinking the position that people are in who are homeless is that they, if you've got no home, if you've got no job, you've got, you've got no money, it's a sort of descending spiral. So one's actually excluded from that entire journey. So I, I've chosen the, the labyrinth that I created for bank and I adapted so that there is no way in. So I've closed off the entrance. So the putative subject of this or oneself is, is denied access from that. I don't know, I suppose I've, left, I've lived in quite a number of places over the years. So I, I, um, I don't have a big monolithic kind of notion of what a home is and I don't, I don't have a big lust for a sort of property owning kind of definition of it. Probably more a child of the tube than of any particular county, do you know what I mean? I think Soho Square isn't quite enough to um, exhibit the changing seasons and kind of a... <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> so I'm, sometimes I'm homesick for, for uh, yeah, seasonal change, which doesn't really, you know, pigeons in the backyard kind of don't betray much of really.